Minister, I agree totally with you when you said that these schools, special schools should be open. I fully support you on that. However, the manner in which this has been handled is shocking and unacceptable. From day one, children with special needs were never prioritised. You know that because we were playing catch up. NEFID did not prioritise them, neither did the department, but certainly I would fault the government and NEFID for not prioritising schools. I think they should have been special schools declared as an essential service. That didn't happen. Neither did it happen with nursing homes. And we've, you've been playing catch up then. The July provision, for example, was rolled out, and I welcome your work on that. However, Parents are still waiting for payment six months after that. They had no transport. They provided transport themselves, travelled huge miles to get to the July provision, and they're still waiting to be paid. To set these children, and we're only talking about 18,000, to have them in the middle of a war that's absolutely poisonous between yourselves and the, the unions is unacceptable. We need special schools declared as an essential service. We need to recognise the serious concerns of the teachers and the special needs assistance in a manner that's conducive to a solution, not to furthering the stream of poison. You will have my support if you do that. So let's declare special schools an essential service. Let's see what steps are needed as a matter of urgency to roll out that educational service. And let's be honest about our utter failure to provide physiotherapy, psychological assistance, occupational therapy that's already been mentioned. And so, Minister, is scannel is nora agus ni mordun le kele dolingle lesh an vibe sha agus lesh an dutlan agus rechuk a all ko koshkiapa agus is fejerlin garmagat.